Hi everyone, it's Pyrogun1839, and in this video, I will be showing you how I make my igniters. One of these! So, let's get to it! For this project, you're going to need a few things. These are the supplies you will need. A needle nose pliers, a wire stripper, you're going to need some kind of flammable powder, it could be really anything you could think of. I'm using bottle rocket powder. And then something to scoop out the powder and put it on the igniter once you get to that point. You're going to need some scissors or a knife. And uh, some nichrome resistance wire. And I have two different kinds here. I have 38 gauge and I have 32. I use the 38 most of the time. That usually requires a 9 volt battery. And the 32 usually requires something more for it to get hot enough. You'll also need heat shrink tubing, a lighter, which I don't recommend. I would recommend a, um, a heat gun. You'll also need some electrical tape, some regular scotch tape, and some 22 gauge solid wire. I got this on Amazon. So, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut the 22 gauge wire into two separate pieces that are the same length. Then, you want to strip the wire on both sides. This is going to be your connection points for when you want to shoot it off. And then this side is where you'll connect the nichrome wire. Next, you're going to want to use your electric tape and tape these two wires so the ends look about like that. Next you'll want to take your electrical tape put it right about here pretty close to the exposed wire and wrap that around and then with your needle nose, you kind of want to make two hooks that face outward. It looks like that. Now your next step is to take your nichrome wire I'll be using the 32 gauge and we'll start on the bottom hook first. I'm going to hold down your wire, push this one aside for now and wrap the nichrome wire a couple times around and use your needle nose pliers again to close that hook nice and tight around your wire but not so tight that you break the wire. Now you just go up and wrap around the second hook and pinch that shut too. And then you can cut off your nichrome wire. So it's pretty hard to see but you have your nichrome wire on there now. Now the only thing you need to do is put some of your flammable or explosive powder there and we'll do that next. Alright so we're going to use our scotch tape and we'll use about an inch and a half and we're just going to put the top of the igniter right in the center of the tape like that and then we'll take our powder and you don't need a lot otherwise it'll come out of the tape and make a mess and spill all you need is just a little bit and put it right on top of the nichrome wire
Okay, so that looks about right. So you just want to make sure that nichrome wire is covered. And we'll fold over very carefully our tape. And you pinch it shut on one side and then lean it so the powder doesn't come out. And close this side. Pinch it good. And then tap it. Make sure the powder's down in the middle. Close this other side. And right now, you could be done. This could be your igniter. And you can use this for rockets or fireworks or whatever. But I like to take it a little bit further. So now I will use some electrical tape. And I'm just going to wrap the tape around it so it looks nice and neat and I'll get this bottom half of the scotch tape wrapped up now what I'll do is I'm going to use a little bit of heat shrink tubing Say that's a little less than a half an inch or so. And I put this over the electrical tape so that if the electrical tape gets old or it gets loose, the whole thing just doesn't fall apart. And this is where I recommend a heat gun rather than a lighter so you don't catch the explosive powder on fire. But since it's such a small amount, I've, I haven't had it happen, but it wouldn't hurt you. And that right there is a completed igniter. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.